guys, welcome to a plan with me. And this is for Valentine's Day week, which is one of my favorite weeks. I've always been a huge fan of Valentine's Day, not necessarily because of the meaning behind it, because let's face it, there really isn't a whole lot of meaning behind Valentine's Day. You should love your spouse every day of the year. Um, but I love the colors. I love how everything is pink and red and glitter and hearts and kissies. And I just, oh, I love, I love it. Um, fun fact, when I lived alone, before I lived with Matt, um, my kitchen was pretty much Valentine's Day themed. It was cupcakes and pink and I just, <sighs> anyways, so I'm gonna film a plan with me and I think right after this, I'm going to film a plan with me for the next week because I have two Valentine's Day kits and I really couldn't pick which one I liked more, so I kind of want to use them both. I hope that's okay with you guys. So this one is going to be for the week of the 15th and this is a Caress Press kit. I think she had two or three Valentine's Day kits, and this is the one I ultimately ended up picking because it's very cutesy and just very, I just, I really like it. <laughs> so that's why I picked it. So here's what the first sheet looks like. So you got your little checklists here. I don't typically use those, I save them. Um, but your weekend banner, your like functional deco here, date night, things like that. Here's the full square boxes. Adorable, I love the little monsters. Very Valentine's y, very cute. And then you got your half squares, your stackable sidebar stuff. I don't typically use like this bill do. I, I don't I don't have many flights, so I don't know. We'll see about that. And then here's the headers, the littles, the date covers, the stackable sidebar stuff, the deco, full square boxes, and then this washi. Ugh, this washi. All right, I adjusted the settings on my camera a little bit because it was looking kind of dark, so I hope that's better. So here's what the week looks like for me. Um, I'm pre-planning a tiny bit, so there's not a whole lot of stuff flagged. Um, Valentine's Day, of course, is on the 14th, but Matt and I are actually going to celebrate um, the weekend prior. We're gonna go ahead and go up north to Flagstaff and celebrate that weekend, so. I'm sure we'll still do something special on Valentine's Day. We'll probably make a really nice steak dinner. That's typically what we do, have a nice glass of wine. But we're not gonna do anything like super duper fancy. <laughs> so this is what my week looks like. All I have is one appointment. So I have an appointment on Monday with a travel agent. Matt and I are considering a destination wedding for our wedding. Actually, we're like 95% we're like sure we're gonna do a destination wedding. So um, we have an appointment with a travel agent on Monday to discuss locations, resorts, things like that. So there's that. And then I have the videos I wanna film flagged on here as well. Um, that's been changing a lot lately. Like I've been changing my mind a lot as far as what videos I wanna film. Like today I planned on filming makeup videos and I just didn't feel like putting makeup on. So I'm filming planner videos instead. So there's that. But let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with the bottom washi. Caress Press kits, if you have never used them before, they're on matte vinyl, so they're like this really thick paper. And, oh shoot, see? So it, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit difficult to work with, to be quite honest. It's not removable matte, so it's really difficult to pull up. Ah! like what I'm doing right now. It's really difficult to pull up. Pretty much, you can't pull it up. And it's really, really thick. It's kind of like the consistency or the texture of a pool toy if you want something to compare it to, or like a floaty, something you would blow up with air. Um, but it is very, very vibrant. The color is very pretty. Um, you can write on it really well, so even if you, Sorry, I lost my train of thought because I'm like, okay, what do I wanna do next? Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna do my checklist on the bottom because why not? Um, what was I saying? Oh my gosh, forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, you can write on them really well. Um, you don't have to use like a special gel pen. You can just use like normal ballpoint pens and they write really well. So I guess there's pros and cons to the different paper types. I guess I'm partial to glossy paper because I typically buy from the Glam Planner or Scribble Prints Co. And they, of course, print all of their stickers on glossy paper. So I find myself like partial to that, but now that I've used Caress Press quite a bit, I'm like, ooh, 
I kind of like this matte vinyl, but it's really thick, so it makes your planner thicker. And my planner is an 18 month planner, and I can already feel it getting super duper thick to the point where I'm gonna have to take pages out <laughs> because it's just too thick. So anyway, that's my thoughts on Caress Press. I also feel like her sticker kits, um, they're a little bit more expensive because they come with, I think, a sheet or two extra like in addition to what Glam Planner has. So I think they're like five or six dollars more expensive. Um, and I actually don't use the additional stickers. So I don't know, there's pros and cons. I've, I've learned a lot about the sticker community in the past, you know, two years that I've been using planners. And I feel like you have to really shop around. Like, although I'm a huge Glam Planner fan and I will probably always love Glam Planner just because I've been a huge fan of L, you know, since forever, um, a lot of the sticker shops use the same deco. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but a lot of the sticker shops will use the same deco. They buy their deco or their clip art from, they buy it from like Etsy shops, I guess. So like people who are graphic designers or artists will design the deco and then the sticker shops will purchase the deco and then turn it into stickers. I don't, I don't really know how it works exactly, I'll be honest, but um, as a result, you see several sticker shops with the same deco and so you might not like the design or the layout that your favorite shop owner chooses. So then you can go to another shop owner. So I learned that there was one like clip art thing that was going around. Um, in fact, I have it right here. I'm feeling like super chatty today, guys. I don't know why. So I apologize for that, but it was this one right here. And Elle Fowler, um, the Glam Planner, used it in one of her kits. And I'll be honest, I wasn't a fan of the layout. I just didn't like it, but I really liked the clip art. I just didn't like what she did with it. So that's actually what made me go to Caress Press um, to see how she used the clip art. And I ended up buying the Caress Press kit instead. So anyway, now that I've chatted your ears off. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about Littles and her littles are a little bit different, but she does have dinner littles. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those down. I haven't really been tracking my dinner as much lately. I really should because I'm doing a six week weight loss challenge right now with Orange Theory. And I'm actually not doing so hot with that six week weight loss challenge. I thought for sure it was gonna force me to get my butt in gear. We have a cruise we're taking in May. And then of course my wedding is in, well, we don't really have a date set, set yet, but wedding will be soon, you know, in the next year, year and a half-ish. So I thought for sure that this whole weight loss challenge thing was gonna kick my butt, and it hasn't. I've been really lazy about it, but there's just been a lot of like social gatherings lately. So there's been like Super Bowl Sunday, and um, the Phoenix Open and parties and stuff like that, family gatherings. You know, Matt and I were moving in May or end of May, early June. And so as a result, we have lots of family gatherings. And I don't know, it's so interesting how the American culture like completely revolves around food and eating and stuff like that, but it really does, you know? So that's been hard. Okay, TV shows, The Walking Dead, yay, will be back by this time. So, I'm gonna pop something on there for The Walking Dead. And then Scandal is back, yeah, yeah. I love me some Scandal. If you guys watch Scandal, what do you think of this season so far? That season opener, ooh, buddy, it was. <laughs> I was like, I was having anxiety because it was, it was a big one. Um, okay, Tuesday is This Is Us, which is my new favorite TV show. I'm obsessed, you guys. It is like the cutest, best TV show ever, ever, ever. Just watch it, like just watch it. <laughs> I don't even have to tell you what it's about, just watch it, you'll love it. And then Monday is The Bachelor, which actually I have not liked this season at all. I watched like an episode and a half. 
And then I decided I wasn't going to watch it anymore. <laughs> so that's that. Um, okay, but I'm still going to flag it because I might end up watching it. <clears throat> Next, I want to flag the videos that I'm going to upload. And since since this is so far in advance, I pretty much have a good idea of the videos that I want to go up. But let me just make sure. So this week will be one, two, three, four videos. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. This video will probably go up on like the Sunday prior. It's kind of like when I like to put up my plan with me is I said like 800 times, so sorry about that. Okay, so Monday, man, I was trying to stick with the color schemes, but that's okay. Monday, Wednesday, there's that, ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta be super careful with these because they do not come up. Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday worked out well. All right, the littles we have left. I'm gonna put a little heart little on Tuesday because it's Valentine's Day, even though we're not gonna do anything special. Still gonna flag it, and then all that's left is packages, some asterisks, and then dinner, which is just an extra dinner. So maybe I'll put an asterisk on Saturday and Sunday just to film and edit. I already know that's what I'm gonna do those days, but we'll flag it anyway. So fun fact for you guys, I just got home from the gym and I haven't like showered or changed yet. I just didn't feel like it. But at the gym today, I am such a big smell person, like a huge smell person. Smell for some reason, it just, I have a very heightened sense of smell. If you watch my beauty videos, you probably know that I always smell everything, but it's because I just am extra sensitive to scent, okay? And there was a time when I was on the treadmill where I just got like major whiffs of BO. And I thought for sure it was me because I kind of got ready pretty quickly today. And I didn't, I put deodorant on, but I didn't make an effort to like, you know, really put deodorant on. I just kind of like quickly <laughs> like brushed it under my arms. Um, so I thought for sure that the scent was me. I was like, oh my God, Melissa, you need to get yourself in check. This is disgusting. And so I did the whole discreet sniff your underarm thing, you know. And then I realized that it wasn't me, it was the girl next to me. And then I kind of felt a little bit bad because I was like, I didn't hide it on my face at all. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hide the fact that I was smelling something disgusting. And then I realized it was her and I kind of felt bad, but then I kind of didn't feel bad because I was like, you are invading my nose space right now. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, that was, that was, that was my fun story. Probably not very fun, but it was, it was so bad. And if you go to the gym frequently, um, I'm sure you've been in situations where very similar, you're just like, oh my God. And it's such a weird social norm because it's like, what do you do? You know, you don't want to tell the person, hey, you stink. <laughs> Cause that's not nice. But then you don't want to sit there and have to smell it either, you know? And like, what am I going to do? Hop off the treadmill and move to another treadmill? No, that's not discreet at all. It's just, it's such a weird social norm. Like, what do you do, you know? Okay, I'm gonna flag here for the travel agent. Um, which little should I use? I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put the little car, even though it's probably gonna be a plane that we take. Not to the appointment, but you know what I mean. Um, ooh, I've never used this pen before. Okay, so seven, 30 p.m. travel agent. I just realized you probably could not see what I was doing there. But anyways, um, so yeah. <laughs> Let me know that I'm not alone with the whole social norms at the gym and sniffing and, okay, next I think I'm gonna use, I love this little monster guy. I think he's so cute. So I'm gonna stick him right there and then fill in the white space with some washi. 
Let's use the red glitter washi. Actually, I think it's more like a fuchsia-y red. If any of you guys have done destination weddings, let me know um, in the comment section down below like what your experience was. Like, do you suggest it? Do you not recommend it? Like, was it a total disaster? Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of people in my family who have gotten married, so I honestly, oop, that's a to-do, not a today. I don't have a whole lot of, you know, like, people to go to to be like, what was your experience? And so, just if you have done a destination wedding or if you've attended a destination wedding, let me know what your experience was. Like, would you do it again? Um, where did you go? Because, I don't know, I'm just trying to gather ideas right now. We're really leaning towards something that is in the US, that way our guests don't have to get passports because my family is not big travelers, so none of them have passports, and that's a big expense. That's a, a really big expense on top of, you know, paying for a plane ticket and hotel and stuff like that. So we really wanna try to stay in the US if possible. Um, we were really, really thinking Puerto Rico, and we still really are thinking Puerto Rico, but, um, I've also heard really good things about like Saint, what is it called? Saint James, is that it? It's the one that's part of the US. Um, one of those Virgin Island islands. So we've heard good things about that too. So it's like, okay, well, should we check that out? Like, you know, so anyway. Oh, I didn't even realize that's Valentine's Day and I put the little monster on there. Super cute. Okay, next full square box. Let's put this one right here. I'm very surprised I haven't made any huge mistakes yet. Ugh. And as I say that, oh, dang it, I jinxed myself. It's not too bad. But huge mistakes yet with setting these down. <laughs> because it's like you really cannot lift these up. Once it's down, it's staying there. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. It is so cute. Okay, next up, let's see, let's see. Where's my weekend banner? There's so many stickers in these kits. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna throw the weekend banner on there because I will totally forget if I don't throw it on there now. And then, does she have three-part checklists? She does. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna throw one of these on Saturday to just label my filming time. I like to outline the videos I'm gonna film. Where's my headers? Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna label it this week. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna keep this, well, I'll leave it there for now. I'm not gonna fill that in just because I already told you I've been changing my mind a lot lately, so I don't want to flag something and then have to change it. Um, cute. Okay, Sundays I also typically do laundry and clean the house, stuff like that. So I'm gonna use one of my little teeny and friends, I think this is honey and bun if I'm correct, and throw that on there. I wanna use these little teeny and friends as much as possible because I feel like I, for, I always forget to use them. Um, so I think that's probably the only one I can, oh, then I have the bachelor so I can put that on Monday. All right, now let's work on this sidebar over here. So at the top, I'm gonna to put this super cute quote. Your love's got me looking so crazy right now. <laughs> okay, and then I like to do packages that I'm expecting, which there isn't a whole lot lately. I've really been trying to control my spending. Um, I've been doing an okay job, I guess, at controlling my spending. But, you know, I'm a shopper. But anyways, so I'm going to put this down for that. Then I'm gonna use my last checklist here for videos I need to film. I feel like I always have a backlog of videos 
to edit, um, to film, to edit, all that good stuff. So I will use work. No, I'll use goals. Because I don't want to think of videos as work. When I think of them as work, they, they're not fun anymore. So they're just going to be goals instead. So there's that. And then my workout. I like to track my calories burned at Orange Theory. So I put that underneath and then I use one of these stackable sidebars. I think I'm going to use this one here. The Monday through Sunday. Perfect. And then the last little bit is where I do my weekly weigh-in. And I will use this little box right here. And what little can I use for that? I'll use the last heart for that. So we'll put the header, do do do. Perfect, fits perfectly. Then we have the date covers, which Caress Press is the only shop I've purchased from that has these little date covers and I like them, but I also kind of don't like them. <laughs> I don't know, like I feel like they can make the spread either complete or really messy, you know what I mean? And I typically like to put my deco stickers up here at the top, and when you have these date covers, it just, it gets way too messy if you try to put them up there, you know? So, I don't know, I'm still trying to find my groove with these date covers, but I mean, they do look really pretty. Okay, so here's what I've used so far. So I think these were the check boxes. Little's headers are done. Half boxes, I'm probably not gonna use any more of that stuff. This, the whole thing is pretty much full. Um, this was my sidebar and the date covers and then my deco, so I'm gonna keep that. This was the full square boxes and then the washi. So I'm doing a fairly good job. As far as the like functional deco, let's see, date night. I'll plug that in on Tuesday because it is Valentine's Day, so date night, cleaning day, I can plug in on Sunday, because it will be a cleaning day, that's for sure. Um, I do have a payday on the 15th, so I can pop that in right there. Planner, I like to put my planner on Sunday, so I remember to plan the next week. This little thing is like a mailer, so we'll plop that in right there. Um, little coffee, super cute. They're so cute, so I hate wasting them, you know? We'll put that on Monday. I think that's about it. I can use some of these little icons. So we got the barbell, which works for workout. And we got the scale for weekly weigh-in. I'm gonna use this little teeny and friends. I think this is Bippity and Boo for filming. I think that's about it. I'm gonna plop the deco in where I can, and then I'll show you the finished result. All right guys, well this is the finished Valentine's week spread. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you enjoyed my chattiness today. Let me know down below if you like Plan With Me so I can keep filming them, and if you do like them, stay tuned because I'm getting ready to put this one on next week, and that'll go up as well. So we'll talk soon, thanks for watching, bye.